All right, Fishaholic, so welcome back to another episode or welcome to the channel. If you're a first time viewer, my name is Rich and thank you so much for clicking on this video. Uh, right now it's uh, 6.30 in the morning and you can see the, the sun is uh, gonna be coming up soon. You know, the uh, horizon's starting to get all colorful, but uh, we're gonna hop in the runner right now and uh, head to the Indian River and try and get out on the kayak. And I can't fish all day today, but uh, we've got an outgoing tide this morning uh, until like 12 p.m. So I'm planning on just fishing this one particular spot, um, you know, through that entire outgoing tide. And uh, the sooner we get there, hopefully, uh, the better for possibly catching some fish on some top water and then maybe progressively switching over to bait if I can catch it and uh, just, uh, you know, see if we can get on a bite. So stay tuned. I will see you guys on the water. All right, well, I just kayaked about a mile south from where we launched to get to this little island here. And uh, I'm gonna start off by casting around this uh, new little Asturi 110 topwater plug that I got uh, from a band of anglers. They, they sent me a little gift package with uh, a bunch of these in it. So I kind of want to put them to the test to start today. And uh, other than this island, we've got some other islands a little bit further out and further south. And then there's also a lot of docks and seawalls that we can fish here today. So I'm just going to kind of bounce around and uh, cover some water and see uh, what we can find to start. I'll probably take like three, four dozen casts with this plug. And uh, if we don't get any bites, then I'll probably switch to something else. Because of course I want to fish with uh, something that's going to work, and uh, you know if there's some hungry snook here, it uh, shouldn't take long to uh, at least get a swirl on this if they like it. And the walk the dog side action is pretty phenomenal with this little bait, so I definitely think we'll get a bite on it. Oh, just got swirled on. Looked like something small though. Oh man, I've got a ton of bait sitting right here along this little jetty. It uh, looks like little greenies. And uh, I would try and catch some right now to see if we can catch some fish on them, but uh, I wanna kinda just stick with this little top water plug because I'm you know, kinda testing it out to see if it works. But, uh, oh, there's a fish just busted Going real tight to the rocks this tide is uh, still uh, pushed up quite a bit so I bet a lot of fish are gonna be real close to the structure I'm gonna stand up and see how big this bait is oh yeah it's actually uh, quite sizable like three four inch greenies so this little plug I'm using is kind of Gonna match uh, this hatch pretty well. Oh, look at all that mullet. Wow. There's a lot of bait here. If we can't get any fish on the artificials, we might have to uh, catch uh, some bait uh, sooner rather than later. There's a nice fish. Oh, he came off. <laughs> Go figure. Just when I'm thinking about taking off the plug and using bait. That was a decent snook. It looked to be like a 27, 28 inch or two. All right, well, pretty cool to see this plug does work. So I'm definitely gonna fish it a little bit longer. Whoa, there's another one. He's ripping. Dang. This fish just did a crazy run right along the jetty. I think he was trying to break me off. Oh, 
we still got some fuel left in the tank. It's a good quality fish. Oh yeah. Heck yeah, this is a nice fish for top water. Yeah. All right, plug is out. There she goes. Oh, another one. Oh, it's a little cuda. I knew something felt off. Whew. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. He's just flying out of the water. It's a real feisty one because we caught him really quickly. See ya. Oh man, that fish crushed it. Little Jack Creval. Sweet, dude. Ton of fish here. I haven't been to this spot in, I would say, I guess a month. So it's cool to see uh, that there's still quite a few fish here. There's actually a lot more bait here now than the last time I was here. And uh, the last time I also just stuck to fishing with bait and uh, I'm stoked we can get on a good bite with uh, the plug to start. Cause uh, to be honest, I'm more of a lure fisherman than a bait fisherman. You know, bait fishing is awesome. Of course, uh, you know, when it's the only thing working, but uh, if you can catch them on lures, I totally prefer that. Look at all this bait, this is insane. All that ripply water is all bait. And that's why all these fish are staging on the outgoing tide right along these rocks. I would love to just see like a 30 plus inch here launch out of the water and eat this little plug. And it would be super fun on this light setup, uh, which is uh, my VR51 van stall with 10 pound Green Moss Power Pro braid. And I have it paired with my seven foot six Dark Matter Fishaholic Inshore Series uh, spinning rod from uh, JNH Tackle. And I'm just using a 50 pound floral leader and uh, tying direct with uh, a little loop knot because uh, you know this bait is walking side to side and with a loop knot uh, you're gonna have a lot more action than uh, say using like a palmar or clinch knot or uni knot. So I like to tie the uh, loop knot when I'm fishing uh, little top waters like this. All right, took a few dozen casts along the jetty and not a touch. So I think the top water bite is definitely done. So uh, I'm just gonna pull up on this little flat here and uh, fill up the live well with water. So this bucket here, and uh, I'm gonna try throwing around the cast net to see if we can get some mullet. So this cast net here is my eight foot cast net with quarter inch holes all right that should be good let's catch some bait oh yeah loaded up with perfect little finger mullets oh yeah look at all these bite-sized morsels Got a fish cruising right in here, trying to eat some bait.
oh my gosh he just launched himself at my bait but he didn't eat it oh there he is did he get it yeah he got it that time there he is nice snook crushed it in inches of water that was so cool oh it's a nice fish too much bigger than I thought he was going to be. This fish looked like he was only like 20 inches. Oh, but it's probably a slot size snook. That was so cool. Nothing better than sight fishing. snook right there circle hook perfectly right in the corner of the mouth I was really in there all right let's get a quick measure on this fish zeros right there just a little shy of 30 inches like just about touching it if I stretch them but nice Good slot size fish on the finger mullet. All right, let's retie with uh, just a single uni knot. Let's get a fresh little bait. Oh, wow. This one jumped out for me. These guys are little tricksters. So they love to jump out of the bait tank. See a snook right here. Come on, eat the bait, eat the bait, eat the bait. Oh, he's chasing it. He's chasing it. He's right underneath it. Wow. Didn't eat it though. Big another big snook right there. Perfect leading cast. Come on, fish. Eat, please eat, please eat, please eat, please eat. Didn't eat. Oh, something ate the bait that time. There we go. What do we have? Oh, there we go. Found another snook, but a smaller one. Saw a big one cruising by, and that's uh, the one I cast it at, but of course, this uh, small one ate it. This one's small, but really chunky. They're eating well here, that's for sure. That time the circle hook was in the roof of the mouth. Look at him, he's just biting the, the, the grippers. <laughs> there he goes. Just spotted a big fish cruising right in here. Monster fish. He spooked and then he, he's swimming right at me now. I dropped my bait right in front of him and he, he took off.
He's right here right now. It's a big snook. Dang. Such a nice fish. This is an overslot easy. But he has no interest in eating. He's spooked. Good sized fish cruising right there. I'm not sure what it is, but he ate it. Oh gosh. Yeah. <laughs> I think we got a big jack. Oh my gosh, he is ripping. Oh, that was so sick. On the sight cast. <laughs> oh man. Oh. So a few minutes ago, you know, we missed that big snook that cruised out of the same little cove. And then I took a cast out there and then I turned around and this uh, fish just cruised right into the same spot. And I just took a cast that I didn't know what it was, if it was a jack or a snook, but I just wanted to get a bite. <laughs> oh yeah. Woo, yeah, <laughs> this fish is ripping. Oh, that was so cool. Watching him crush it and just rip so fast across the flat. <laughs> He's all the way out on that, uh, that next flat out across this uh, channel. I can see him uh, swimming in the shallow water. That's crazy. And you know what? He's spooking other fish. There's other fish on that flat over there that he's spooking. Oh, man. This fish did not look this big. Check that out. It's a shark right there. Oh, oh, I just spooked him out off the flat. He definitely would have tried to take a bite out of my jack if uh, he saw him, or maybe that's why he came in. He followed him in from way out there. Oh, man, this is a big fish. Oh, look at the size of this donkey. Look at that. All right, guys, here's a closer look at this big donkey jack. Not really a fat one, but super long and such an amazing fight. Whew, let's get her back. Got a fish cruising right here. Looks like a jack. He's being finicky though. Oh, perfect cast, perfect cast. He ate it. Oh, there he is. Oh, man. Oh, so sick. Oh, look at that. Oh, the bait is freaking out. Man. This cove is just loaded with bait. Nice fun size one. Circle hook did its job. So cool. All right, let's get another. Just spotted a fish right along the rocks here. I'm not sure how big he is. Looks big enough. Oh, just, just ate it. Wow. Oh man, what a run. What? Oh, de nice snook. Oh, there's a bigger snook following him out. No, I'm going to let mine go into free spool and back up so that, that the big snook that's following mine goes back into where he was. I don't want to uh, spook him, so I'm just going to let my snook swim around and then kind of slowly pull him out. No, the big one's still following him. Dang it. No. No, go back in there. Oh yeah, the big snook is going back into the corner. He followed him basically all the way out to here, but he's going right back to the rocks. Sweet. We just gotta unhook him like that. Perfect. Get a fresh bait on and go right back in there. 
All right, well, uh, after we caught that last snook, we went right back into that same spot to uh, see if we can get the bigger one. And uh, we saw him, he cruised by, but he didn't eat. He was probably a little spooked because he saw his buddy get yanked out of there. But uh, now we're out of bait. And I think I'm gonna throw the cast net one more time and just see if we can get some of the larger mullet and then uh, try a couple of those and see if uh, that's maybe what uh, some of the bigger snook uh, want to chew. So let's do it. <sighs> Got a few in that toss. Oh my gosh. And a ton, of, a ton of little greenies that I didn't even see. All right, let's try one of these larger mullets. I switched back to a 50 pound leader now and uh, threw on a larger uh, 5 uh trocar circle hook. Let's see if this works. Oh, big snook just ate my bait. Oh, and he dropped it. What just happened there? I don't think he ever had it. Oh, monster snook. He just ate it too. Look at that. Yeah. Oh, please stay hooked. Please stay hooked. We gotta chase this fish down. She's big and she's going right for the mangroves. No, 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 no. Oh man, she's in there. She is way in the mangroves. And these mangroves are so low to the water, I can't even really get in there to, to get her. So I just gotta slowly walk her out. Come on, come on. Oh, she doesn't wanna leave the vegetation. Monster snook right here. Oh my gosh. Monster. Woo! Look at the size of this fish. Oh man. Look at that perfect hook set. And that is why she didn't uh, chafe us off. I didn't know where she was hooked, so I played her super light and it paid off. And uh, it paid off switching to. Uh, a bigger mullet. Look at that stud. All right, zero is right there. Oh, solid uh, 37 inch, I would say. She's like two inches past 35. And uh, I thought she was gonna be a lot bigger. She's just really girthy, probably a, a pre-spawner or a spawner. All right, she's almost about ready to go, but I just wanted to give you guys one closer look. And look at the shoulders on this fish. What a big, beautiful old fish. Now let's get her back. healthy release and I think that is going to about do it for me and uh, the old tale is true bigger bait equals a bigger fish and uh, I actually thought that snook was gonna be uh, like 39 40 41 inches I didn't want to say anything when I was fighting the fish because I didn't want to lose the fish but uh, I just caught a 37 inch like two days ago on the fly and that one was a lot skinnier this one was like round and the shoulders just were huge on it like it looked like it was a 40 incher in the water and uh, I'm sure in its near future it'll uh, hit 40 plus uh, for sure but uh, anyway um, I'm gonna head out of here because I can't fish all day and I'm gonna try and learn a little bit more on the way back actually because we've got a lot of flats on the way back to the launch and I've got like five or six baits left in the well so 
I'm just gonna have the tide push us in and the wind push us. I think it's like southeast, so it'll just blow us right back to the launch and uh, I'll see what else I can find on the flats and that'll just give me more knowledge uh, for other fishing videos that I can make uh, maybe tomorrow or uh, you know sometime here in the future. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll put all my tackling equipment down below and uh, until the next video, live to fish, fish to live. All right, I hooked something real big on the way back. Just trolling the mullet. I had the bait way out behind the kayak, probably like 100 yards. And then just heard this loud explosion. Oh my gosh. And now you can you hear that drag ripping. This is a big fish, whatever it is. I wanted to keep recording, but my other camera, the uh, SD card is full. I, I do have this one, but this camera tends to overheat a lot. So I was just uh, thinking, you know what, I won't film on the way back. And I really wasn't thinking we would get into anything, but here we are. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh. Maybe it's a big jack. Oh my gosh. What? I don't know. If it is a jack, it, like this might be like 40 or 50 pounds. A lot bigger, I think, than uh, the one we caught earlier. Oh, absolute tank of a fish here. Oh man, I think it's bigger than uh, the first jack we caught today. Look at that, he's just turning the kayak right around. Woo! Oh, it's getting hot. Spinning me in circles. Oh man! Wait till you guys get, to, get a look at the size of this fish. All right, you ready? Oh man, what the hell? Woo! Look at the size of this jack. Woo! <laughs> what a giant. <laughs> Definitely a new PB here. Oh, I wish I had the boga to wear, but since I don't, I'm just gonna get a measure on her. All right, check this out. Right there is zero. And this fish is about an inch over 45. So we'll call this a 46 inch uh, Jack Creval. Man, that was easily like a 15 to 20 minute battle just to catch this thing in the kayak. Whew, let's get her back. All right, I'm gonna give her a nice little tow so she's getting some water and oxygen flowing through her gills and then hopefully she'll swim off on her own She goes like a submarine. All right, well, what an epic day. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'm glad we just like about captured that catch on film because this camera is uh, just about to die. It's like on 5%. So uh, yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. I'm shot.